Yeah, Splatoon 3 is out right now on Plains tonight, so you're going down, son. What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. <gasps> there we Today is the first day that we are reopened after the remodel, and I'm super excited to see how everyone reacts. Um, you guys seem to really like the store tour that we did. We think it looks great, but having customers physically come into the store and check it out and give feedback is going to be awesome. So I'm super excited. Um, we did do a little bit more work on the store um, after the store tour. Um, I went to Home Depot and I picked up lights for the other cabinets. Um, I had two employees helping me for half an hour we got the correct things it's all gonna work we just need to drill some holes and get them get them put in but it's gonna work and then um also i brought in a bunch of action figures from my collection which we did put into the inventory but um we put them out before doing the store tour so you might have seen some but there's a bunch here quake 2 dark stalkers resident evil super mario crash mega man samurai showdown uh, there's a bunch of them, but uh, I think there's going to be pictures on our Facebook and Instagram, but we're not going to like show them as a trade-in or anything. So if you're interested, go and check it out. We are now open and the PS5 is still here. I wonder what time it will sell. I guess we'll find out. Yo, Abby. Hey. Are you ready for today? Yes, I am. Are you? Yeah. Prepared for the influx of customers? Okay, I'm really not. <laughs> I'm pretending that I am. <laughs> at least we sold this. Yay! Cooper is pretty like upset because we just priced it down. He was like, we're gonna have this for PRG. <laughs> no, we're not. But it was already on sale during the, during the sale and didn't sell. But then yeah. we, we, we lowered it after the sale and it sold right away. Interesting. Oh, but, bye Earthbound. Yep. So you can see there's a light. It's just sitting on top of the cabinet right now. It's behind the sign and in between that but it's looking awesome. So after we close tonight, I'm going to mount them all on the inside of all of them and I'll show you guys, but it's gonna look so much better. Whoa, sir. Give me cookie. What's the magic word? Nap. <laughs> please, I love you, cookie, please. I want my own cookie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you deserve that. <laughs> You're eating it right now. But you want your own cookie. I do. I want a second one. You guys want a bite? Here you go. Hey, what's up, Jedediah? Hey, um, so would you think that I was weird if I started wearing, um, diapers? Um, do you need them? Well, not necessarily, but, um, my grandma has to wear them, and she doesn't have to leave oh, like the couch. The, like the adult diapers? The, yeah, I just, depends. I just thought... It what might be called? really convenient um, when I'm having a long video game session. Ah. Because if, you know, I have I have my two liters of Mountain Dew. Yeah. And so the only time I, I have to leave is to use the bathroom. But I thought it just might save a lot of time. Well, you might have some troubles with the ladies if you do that. There might be some smells oh. and some uncomfortable situations i see well i mean they are kind of itchy too <laughs> all right we just got splatoon 3 in we of course still have splatoon 1 and 2 in stock both amazing games i'm so hyped for splatoon 3 i've been playing it all night long we also got the reprints of cali and marie in stock I believe they are 25 bucks. Um, so super cheap compared to what they were going for just a couple months ago, 100 bucks and more than that. Really cool. They do have the red thing here because they're the reprint. This is not the old Nintendo logo. 
We also got the Minecraft Mebo in stock now as well. Pretty cool. They're pretty like generic because um, they're just, you know, boxy. But I mean, there's some detail in there. But yeah, super cool. Everything in stock right now. What's this one? Professor Brainium's games. Oh my. Oh. Ryan wanted this one. Mm -hmm. Are you okay from your fall the other day when you were trying to get that game for your grandkid? What fall? You fell over there. I did? Is that why I have this knot on my head? Maybe. Maybe. Also, yes, I'm fine. <laughs> Someone commented that legend says that the grandson is still waiting for aliens in the <laughs> attic. <laughs> and you would be right. <laughs> I don't even know where my grandson is. Oh my god. Yeah. Think about the children. What's going on, guys? I have a staff pick for you today, and today it is the movie Mulan. It's a Disney movie. It's about um, medieval China, basically. And the girl, Mulan, she goes undercover as a man to take her father's place in the Imperial Army in China because they drafted all the men in China to go fight the war against the Mongolians. Um, it's a great movie with a lot of good, really good music. Um, one of the reasons I picked this because I pick, um, I sing I'll Make a Man Out of You for karaoke, and it's super fun. Um, but it's a great movie, um, great for the whole family. Definitely recommend watching it. So this Fusion Frenzy disc is very badly scratched. This scratch right here looks and feels like a crack, but it's not, it doesn't go all the way through. I'm gonna try to resurface it and see if we can get it fixed and working. So it does look a lot better, but that line is still there. Run it again and see what it looks like. All right, so the little mark is still there, but I tested it and it is fully working. There's some stuff out here that came in today that is not in the back, so I wanted to make sure we show you guys. We've got a weave bird. We got this really weird blue and like tan PS4 controller. And then we got an OLED switch. The white one. Where's the box? I saw the box somewhere. Um, Maybe the box is in the back. <laughs> Did this come in today too? The black Wii? Yes. Ooh. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff. I like the white one. It looks pretty good. Nice and clean. And then probably probably see these, but a couple more than not for resale. <laughs> Mario Tennis. I think we already have a bunch of those in stock, but still really cool. Say goodbye to Splatoon who? Nobody wants that anymore. We got Splatoon 3 now. Got some nice uh, inner uh, box art. You can reverse it as well. It's so cool when it has the three people. So cool. Let's put her in. Let's put her in. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now they just need to uh, port Splatoon 1 to the to the Switch. Yay, Splatoon 3. Um, I played the Splatfest demo. It's really good. There is a lot of changes to the first game. Every time a new Splatoon game comes out, every reviewer who is not like deep into the game, um, like not a big fan of it, like just, um, they always are like, there's not many, there's not many differences. It's the same game. It's just Splatoon 1.5. It's Splatoon 2.5 every time. Um, I mean, it's two times now, so it's a pattern. <laughs> um, but immediately when I put it in, or when I played it, the Splatfest, it's way different. There's tons of new maneuvers, tons of new weapon categories, new stages, um, new campaign mode. There is the co-op mode is now updated. There's a ton to this game. It's incredibly fun, and I do recommend it to pretty much everyone. Let's do some trades, guys. 
All right, let's start over here with these horror games. Um, I'm not gonna read them out loud, but you can take a look if you would like. We're trying to only take anime and horror DVDs these days, but you know. Um, so this is a Japanese import PSP title, Metal Gear Solid, Bande Dessine. I don't know if that's actually how you say that. We've got Frogger for Genesis, Miss Pac-Man for Genesis, Donkey Kong 64, Rayman 2, The Great Escape, Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne, The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, Game of the Year Edition. We've got this uh, pretty cool PlayStation 2 DVD remote. Um, so just to make watching videos on your PlayStation a little easier. And then up here, we've got Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War for PlayStation 5. We've got two. Um, we've got the Legend Edition Gold of 2K18, um, NBA 2K18, Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Ghost of Tsushima Launch, ed launch Edition, Lunch Edition, Battlefield 1, The Sly Collection, GoldenEye Reloaded, uh, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection, Star Trek, I heard this game was very glitchy, and a lot of fun, um, Ratchet and Clank, The Collection, for PlayStation 3, Motorstorm, Little Big Planet, Game of the Year Edition, Sega Rally, Revo, Killzone 2, Rage, <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops, Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time, Journey, Collector's Edition, uh, Lego, the Lego movie video game, the game. Cabela's Dangerous Hunts, 2011. Far Cry 3. Sing It, Disney Family Hits. That is uh, not the right order. Uh, Def Jam Rap Star. All right. And then over here, we've got a S Mario Golf Super Rush. Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD. Mario Kart Wii. Barbie Horse Adventures Riding Camp. Four Resident Evil Wii Edition. Assassin's Creed Unity. Halo Reach. Uh, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. Call of Duty Ghosts. The Walking Dead Season 2. Armored Core 4. The Tom Clancy Signature Edition of Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Plants and Zombies. Plants vs. Zombies. Garden Warfare. Medal of Honor. The Walking Dead Survival Instinct and Call of Duty Black Ops. And then over here, we got in a ton of DS and 3DS titles. So we've got The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, Chibi Robo Ziplash, The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds, Skylanders Giants, Super Mario 3D Land, Conception 2 Children of the Seven Stars, Mario Kart 7, Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate, uh, Paper Mario Sticker Star, Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Y, Pokemon Moon, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, Pokemon Omega Ruby, Pokemon X, Skylanders Trap Team, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf, Star Fox 64 3D, Lego Jurassic World, and Lego Marvel Super Heroes, um, and Rune Factory 4. I love this game. All right, over here, we've got our DS titles, Pokemon Ranger, Blue Dragon Plus, Michael Jackson, The Experience, Brain Age 2, More Training in Minutes a Day. Um, if you wanted to split hairs, it's technically Brain Age squared. <gasps> Uh, New Super Mario Bros. Jump Ultimate Stars. So that's pretty cool. It's an import. Um, Puzzle Quest Challenge of the Warlords. Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Garfield Gets Real. The Trash Pack The Gross Gang in Your Garbage. Um, Asphalt Urban GT. Spider Man Web of Shadows. Drawn to Life, the next chapter, Super Mario 64 DS, Final Fantasy 3, Contra 4, and Chrono Trigger. Um, we've actually had this exact title in before, and the guy who bought it brought it back in, um, and it's got the map and everything, so that's pretty cool. Um, 
And then you guys got to see the Nintendo Switch OLED out there, and we've got these Amiibos in Splatoon 3. Uh, we got this PlayStation 2 horizontal stand. Um, so if you want your PlayStation to be standing up on uh, its side, maybe? Yeah. Huh, interesting. And then we've got uh, the Super Game Boy for Super Nintendo. We've got this uh, wireless Wii motion sensor bar. Uh, we've got this neat little Nyko grip for your Wiimote. We've got this beautiful 2DS XL with a Japanese only Monster Hunter shell on it. And we've got Flurry, Croak, and Pango. And I think that's all. Thanks for trading with us. So I just wanted to remind people again, starting with the Min Min Amiibo, all of the new Amiibo don't have the foil underneath, which means you can scan these without taking them out of the package, which is really cool for collectors who like to keep their Amiibo sealed. It's a little difficult because there's a large barrier, so it can take a couple times and it can fail sometimes to register. Um, so it kind of can take a couple attempts, but it is possible to do. It's easier on the Pro Controllers because there's less of a barrier the NFC reader things like below the, joy, the joystick. So it's a little difficult. There we go. Yep, there, there's the game. There's, there's Ryan, Cooper, Abby, and, and Kyle. Oh. I'm filming this part of the video way later, obviously putting it somewhere earlier, but it's about 9 p.m. I'm about to leave, but I wanted to get something finished today which was to get the new lights into the glass cases. And I did five of them, um, the five that are on this wall. The other three I'm going to try to do tomorrow, but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So ignore the mess, I'm still, you know, haven't put stuff away yet, but bam. Got them all mounted, got them all plugged in, uh, drilled holes in the back of them to run the cables. There's a Nintendo one, there's the PlayStation one, the Xbox one, and then the Nintendo 64, which I, I did this one earlier. I think I filmed it. Oh no, I had the I had this one outside of the glass case and I showed that, but now it's mounted actually in there. And I think that it looks awesome. It may, it may not look like much on camera, but if, if I were to show you like this shot right here, if I were to show you this before and after, you would definitely be able to tell the difference because they were really dark. And I can show you the cabinets I have not done yet, which are these three. So compare the way these look to the way that these look. Very, very different. This one especially looks really, really dark because there's a bunch of big stuff on top which blocks the light, but also a lot of the consoles are black. So they don't really show up that well compared to the white Saturn cases on top in that one. So I'm going to hopefully do these three tomorrow. I'm excited and I know that it's just going to look amazing, especially this top shelf because the I'm putting the lights right up here on the inside and they kind of shine down and that way. So it's going to light all those up. They're going to be beautiful. And I'm super, super happy with how it came out. Just in case you guys are interested, um, this one here is a bit shorter than the rest, but this is the brand commercial electric white, white color changing under cabinet light. This is the important part right here though. Plug-in and linkable. I, as you guys know, we bought like two other sets of lights that ended up not working out. They were not, well, one of them was a plug-in one, but it was motion activated only. Uh, these ones have, they have the bright, brightest setting, a little bit dimmer, and then they have, um, the 4,000K 4, is what I have on them now. That's the brightest white. And then you go here and here. It gets a little bit more warm, kind of like a yellowy tone. Uh, but got these at Home Depot. They were not super expensive. And uh, just make sure you get the ones that say plug-in. Otherwise, you have hardwire. And obviously, I'm not going to hardwire these into the wiring of the store here. So super awesome. Highly recommend it. I'm probably going to get some for my game room as well. What are you doing? Uh, I'm on my, my lunch break. Yeah, it yeah. Sense, but what? It's just, it was just Splatoon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. On a Splatoon OLED and a Splatoon well, shirt. Just the Splatoon icons. And, and a Splatoon blanket. 
Abby got this to me. I did. I have it on my, my little couch. My nice. Okay, enjoy the rest of your... It's getting warm. Covering my skin. I can't be showing skin. <laughs> okay, have fun on your break. Kyle's pulling out the PS5. And it's 4.55. Look at that beautiful body right there. Kyle, what do you got there? PS5? Yay. Yay, it worked. The little, the little auto timer thing worked, Cooper. It turned off. All right, guys, so we just closed and we have a question for you. Who wants to ask it? I will ask it. Okay. Because someone bought three copies of Breath of the Wild today sealed because um, there's a variant with, that has the controllers and you can't use those control methods. So they fixed it. But they're not really that much rare. At least for us, we have equal copies of both. But they bought three sealed copies we had. Yeah, but and they're probably going to resell or something, but... We want to know what do you collect any variants of things and if you do like can it be a minor thing like this you'll collect or do you it does have to be like a front cover variant or a spine like misprint or different uh, console colors yeah or special edition consoles and, like they just apparently re redid the switch box this would like the regular b2 switch now has like the same style shape box as the oled now to make it more compact yeah it's so, like do you do you go for like tiny things like that they don't really matter what justifies a variant. So for me, like this Breath of the Wild thing, that, that's not something I'd, I'd be interested in. Um, for like NES games, some of them have the circle seal versus the oval seal. I don't care about stuff like that. For me, it has to be like, like a little bit more. Um, like some games, not these, but sometimes they'll have like the logo of the company at the bottom. But sometimes depending on the game, it's like a different logo. Um, like the Final Fantasy for Game Boy, there's like the oh, Sunsoft so one. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so that is closer to to like what I would want to collect. But for me, it's more like, you know, the for GameCube specifically, they'll have like the Target exclusive one or the Kmart one, or they'll have like the bestseller variant. Um, so I do go after stuff like that, but it has to be more... It has to be like a bigger variant. And then, of course, different console colors and stuff like that I do go for. The Switch one, I didn't know about that. That's interesting that they... It's very recent. I don't know if they're even on store shelves yet. Yeah, that's kind of cool, though, because that seems like a pretty big variant to me. Like, the console is the same, obviously, but the box is yeah. not even the same shape. Yeah. So, I don't know. What about you? Me? Yeah. Um, so I don't do do it anymore, but I used to collect like all the different Zelda DSs and 3DSs, um, or like Fire Emblem ones too. Um, at one point I had like seven of the Fire Emblem Awakening 3DSs, <laughs> and I, I was selling a bunch of them, but I collected those, and then I had all but like, there's like a Triforce gold new 3DS XL that I didn't have, but I had basically all the rest of them, but I sold them all. What about you, Adam? Well, like, misprint-wise, or, like, this type of thing, I don't care about, but there's, like, one misprint that I have that's the... What, what is it called? It's not Warhammer. It's, like, the one with the black spine. Darksiders. Darksiders. Yeah. I got that one because it's a misprint with, like, completely different because the whole spine um, is, like, black. Yeah. Um, and I got it specifically because I have the, the Nintendo Labo games, which are all black spines. I was like, oh, I'll just put next to the black spines I have there. <laughs> but otherwise, I mean, I get, like, versions of different console like handhelds, like Kyle was saying. Like, I have every, every Zelda 3, or Zelda handheld, or special edition, really, except for the European GBA. But. What about you, Ariel? I don't have the collection game that you guys do. Like, <laughs> you guys are like, oh, I have this special, like, Chinese-molded <laughs> GameCube disc from the past and I'm like um sometimes I collect shiny Pokemon you know um but uh I don't know I like collecting things that are red so if it is a thing that I like like the Yoshis 
if I'm gonna collect something, it's gonna be the red Yoshi or the red type of thing. And so you look into my room, all of my consoles have as much red as possible on them. So So if you get a red console, do you also like do you have any duplicate consoles that are different colors or editions? No, I don't have the money for that. <laughs> if you did, would you? Yes, yes. Okay. Um I would absolutely look for uh yeah, cool stuff like that. Like <sighs> We've got that blue PlayStation 4 in the glass case. And every time I walk by, it's just like, I want you. (laughs) But yeah. Cool. So let us know in the comments if you guys collect variants. And if you do, what kind of stuff do you go after? And that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Splatoon 3.